What's up, everybody? I am here in Springfield, Massachusetts, and I'm with Owen Morris. What's up, Owen? Hey, good to see you again. What got you into performing? Good to see you, too. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I think I'm not, you know, your natural performer. Oh, yeah? I think I was uh, really quiet, really shy as a kid, and the juggling is the thing that sort of pulled me into performing. Mm -hmm. One of those things where it, it attracts people, it's it's a joyful thing to be doing mm -hmm. and, and people get a kick out of it and then you and and for me for a long time it was something I could hide behind. I always knew that I had the skills right. to be a successful juggler. Yeah. And and that's what they were focusing on. But then you sort of realize that they don't much care about the juggling as much as the juggler. Yeah. And and you know, then you start realize they want to know a little bit more about the performer. Right. And and so, is yeah. there any performers or inspirations that you had when you were younger that got you into doing what you're doing, and why do what you do? Well, did I say doo doo? I think I, I did. I think you did. <laughs> ah, nice. A little doo doo joke in there. I see what you did there. Nice. Uh, <laughs> doo doo is always funny, right? You say doo doo. <laughs> uh, you know, you know, the flying car, Montauk let's start, Brothers. Let's start from the beginning, beginning, yeah. okay? It came out of the womb, you know. Well, that's, that's way, All right, maybe way too way. far back. We shouldn't go that far. <laughs> we shouldn't go there. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you met John, right? How'd you meet yeah, John? Yeah, we met in 86 at, a, at uh, the juggling convention in okay, uh, San cool. Jose. And, awesome. Uh, both juggling, a mutual friend introduced us, and, and we both loved passing. Okay. Uh, so we kind of just, you know, hooked up doing doing that and were you into more juggling and then he I was, was into doing, performing or you just like well, hey let's do a duo act or how'd that work well yeah I think he's just he's a naturally he's more of a performer and he's really funny and, and I think I had more of the technical skills and stuff at, right. at, at that point but we were, we're pretty, pretty comparable um, and uh, yeah just it seemed like a good match right from the beginning so we met in 86 teamed up in 88 after college okay and thought, uh, let's put a show together for a couple of years, cool. see how it goes, and then we'll go get our real jobs. Uh, last week we celebrated 30 years. Wow, 30 years, man, that's 30 crazy. years. How crazy. awesome is that? Yeah, wow. pretty nutty. So, that's cool, man. And that we're is still super cool. Fun. You get paid to play, you travel yeah. the world, and you've been doing it for 30 years. Well, and you've had was, this wild yeah. craziness of, hey, man, let's just go out and juggle, and you're like, cool, let's do this. We did yeah. our first show, and that's like, wow, I can't believe we've been doing it for 30 years now. Well, and it's so funny, even after our first show, we had people coming up to us saying, how long have you guys been working together? And we seriously were like, 20 minutes. That's awesome. You know, that was, that's awesome. That was our first show. So you guys just clicked just like that, right? Right away, okay. right away. And I think that's fairly rare, and I think that's a big reason why we're still doing it. I mean, we kind of said, we'll keep doing this until we're yeah. no longer having fun. Uh, so John talked to me, right? Yeah. And he said that you guys used to roommate together. Yeah. And then that's kind of how you guys, what was it like living with John? It was great. I mean, when you first, we just practice every day okay. just get cool. up and, and uh, that's perfect man. yeah it was great and it's just a good way I think we lived together for a year and I think that was the right amount of time to get used to each other understand who these this person is mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. and then I uh, got my own place and uh, I think that was important too to be able to separate and you know because we we're at that point we we're working on time were together. you guys going to school at the time or I had just finished my last year of college he okay what did you study uh, psychology. Psychology, okay. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. This is good. Not much of a future, it's, I Yeah, it's good, but it, it should be the other way. You should be asking me the questions. I right? should. You know, why don't you want to lay down and yeah. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> relax? Tell me about your mom. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, she's doing great. I love yeah. you, mom. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> so let's, let's go back to when you first met John. How did you guys know that, hey, I want to do this for a living? You were, you were driven to say, we're going to take it to a, a professional level, get really serious about doing the comedy, writing the scripts. When did this go like, hey, this is, I mean, of course it's fun, but yeah. wow, when did you guys get the passing zone the way it was? And that, how'd you come up with that name, passing zone? Well, actually, that was, uh, Hold on, let me, uh, yeah. let's get some, whoa, he's doing a wheelie, you see that? Oh, I missed oh. it, one guy was doing a wheelie on a motorcycle. So we are out here in Springfield, Massachusetts, uh, the Mass Mutual Center. Yeah. I don't know if you know, but Springfield, Massachusetts is where basketball was born. I did know that. It's the birthplace of basketball. James so. Naismith. Oh, but look I'm, at that. That was my, that was my passion growing there up, go. playing basketball. Really? Oh, yeah. What would you play? Uh, what position? I was point guard. Point guard. Wow, so you go with your hands. Oh, yeah. Good that passer. Was, yeah. That was Good my, passer. Get it? See? Passing zone. <laughs> there you go. Tying it all together. This is great. This <laughs> yeah. is good. That's good. A lot of hand-eye coordination okay. with basketball. Yeah. And, Why don't you become a professional basketball player? I, I was thinking about it. Yeah. I mean, I played ball in high school and, 
I just know, was going to play in college. I discovered the track in college. And you so are pretty tall. How tall are you? 6'3". 6'3". That's all mine. Yeah. There you go. I'm close. You are close. Yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah. <laughs> really close. <laughs> Big dork. Yeah, well, that's what it's like, right? <laughs> Having fun. Yeah. I get paid to play, right? We get to pay to travel and juggle and be yeah. dorks on stage and make jokes. I think I think what we do is pretty awesome compared to, I mean, my brother is an aerospace engineer. I love him to death. You know, people work nine to five. Yeah. And I feel like I could have done that. Yeah. I went to school like you. You know, uh -huh. I got a finance degree. Yeah. And I was like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and do Wall Street and I can be this broker and make this money, which right. obviously is great to make money. Sure. But it's also great to make money with other things and I just felt like I wasn't that wasn't the thing I want to do suit and tie right. I love juggling love performing make a lot of money or become a juggler hmm I think I'm becoming a juggler yeah yeah I mean yeah I, I, we're pretty <laughs> but if you can right make now. a good living doing it it's pretty freaking awesome yeah. you know it's yeah. it's like wow I can't believe I'm still doing this and I'm having fun and I'm and I'm making a good living it's right. it's very very cool and very humbling to go this is something I love I put my blood sweat and tears into it and now I'm doing it every day yeah, and I good. wake up and I think of juggling yeah you know I'm not thinking about money I'm not thinking about finance I'm thinking about juggling yeah. and creation and art and being around guys like you and just hanging out and saying wow you know we all kind of live this performing life which is very unique let's go into that yeah well it's interesting there's a couple of similarities there my dad was an engineer okay and you know my brother really? worked the super my dad's an engineer too as well mechanical yeah. engineer right yeah. and so it's just kind of go well that's probably the direction I was headed right and yeah, I'm a reasonably smart guy. What does your parents think of you now that you're? Oh, they love it. Okay, cool. Yeah, they're very so supportive. Support so supportive. That's awesome. Yeah. My mom and dad were like, great. And then once I started bringing home money, they're like, okay, this, this is great. This working. works. Yeah. This works. And they love me, but you know, they love that I do it. Yeah. But it's nice to know that I can finance myself. Right. And have some stable income coming in and say, wow, look, I'm traveling the world. I went to 27 countries. Yeah. I've been around. I've been, you know, doing these big shows. And it's been an amazing experience. My brother says, you've lived like three lives, Lucian. You sure. know, you've traveled and seen the world. You've yeah. performed these nice stages. And you're doing the same thing. I'm so happy to talk to you because it's like, I, when I was growing up, I was, you're an inspiration to me. You know, oh, you and John kind. are just, I mean, your comedy is so funny. It's, it's belly laughing, which is <laughs> on point. You know what uh, I mean? That's awesome. It's that's like when I cool. first saw John do the whole like, okay, you guys drop the you know sickles and stuff, and then he puts like, oh, how many times do we have to do this with the with the, the dots? Dot. Yeah. It's yeah. like if you one. have to ever see the passing zero, and you have to see him live. It is amazing. If you don't see him live, you can check him up on YouTube. But they are super funny. Their comedy is just you yeah. will die in your seat laughing. It's so <laughs> good. And it, and that's what I love about you guys. It's a connection with the audience, a likability beyond just your juggling. You want to say some stuff about that and how important that is for performing? Well, I think it's I think it's the key. Uh, people people aren't flocking to go see jugglers, but okay. they'll see and they'll stick around and watch watch a show that's interaction. The interaction that we have with each other on stage, the interaction we have with the audience. It's uh, it it, it uh, and I think our goal is to make people relax and and enjoy a show. We've had people come up after the show and just say, you know, that's. My, my father passed away, you know, two months ago. I haven't laughed in two months. Mm -hmm. And you just go, and that, that was exactly what I needed. And you Absolutely. just kind of realize, awesome. man, we are doing exactly what we should be yep. doing. Yep. You know? You're making a just, difference in people's lives for sure. Yeah, you can't understand. Yeah, and it, it's so funny. My, my daughter, when she was like five, you know, it would be career day. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what does your dad do? Oh, my dad's a policeman and he, you know, does this. Oh, my dad, you know, is a lawyer this and my daughter says my dad makes people laugh and you just go that's awesome on. I, that's awesome yeah that's she gets it yep a five my five-year-old daughter got it mm -hmm. and and the value in that I think is is tremendous so let's get a little technical questions how do you guys create like a new piece that you're working on do you script everything do you go into a theater here you guys have a theater that you just kind of have all your creations you put all your props there yeah and just work on stuff yeah we've what's got that a, what's that all about well it's it's pretty great now we've just we've got a space where all of our stuff is there we've got stage and curtains and you know a lot of it and you, know, do you come with the ideas john comes with the ideas we you both do both? yeah okay we both brainstorm. brainstorm one of the best parts of our of our you know performing space is two couches nice so we can work on stuff and then go sit down and just chill yeah. and talk about Watch it. Watch a movie, popcorn. Well, just just hang out. Just, just, you know, write. just like us, right? Yeah, exactly. Just, like just write material. <laughs> yeah. uh, so that's that's a huge part of, of what we do. I mean, it's equal skill and and the writing, obviously. And, and we'll just that's come up great. with ideas and, and bounce, you know, 
you know, ideas off each other. And do you see other partner acts do some of these kind of things, or do you feel like you guys have your kind of own little thing? No, I, I don't know. I think it's it's sort of organic the way things come up. Well, and and you know, when you hang out with one another, you can you're inspired by different things. We're just right. on the road and see something. Oh man, I bet that'd be interesting to take that concept or find something that that's relatable to audiences right. and stuff. Look how many duo acts are out there that juggle comedy acts and so forth and yeah. jugglers. Yeah. Not just jugglers, but even performers. You've been around the world, you've been America's Got Talent, you've been all these great TV shows. Yeah. You are an inspiration to all these people. How does it feel to be recognized from a lot of these people coming up to you and going, wow, it's the passing zone. Man, they've been on TV. These guys <laughs> are like the epitome, like these guys uh, are, are the main act. They work all the big corporate shows, they get all the big money, they do yeah. all the big travels, they have all the stuff, TV stuff. What, how does that feel? It's humbling. It's, hold on, I, let me wipe that off your shoulder. Oh, thank there you. There you go. No, it's, it's... How does that feel just to like, you know... It's it's flat. 30 years, sure. that's awesome. Yeah, I mean... You I, worked hard for that. But, you know, we're also so darn lucky. I mean, to, to hook up, same, you know, similar personalities, similar senses of so humor. So it's a little bit of luck, too. Yeah. Ah, plenty of luck. Yeah, hard work. I won't, you know, there's yeah. plenty of hard work, too, but we got lucky. Any advice that you give to someone that's watching this as wanting, you know, put together a duo act themselves? Yeah, Any advice I, I would for say don't just just get out there and do shows we were we did renaissance fairs we did street shows we did festivals just hone it just we worked at disneyland together where you're you know eight hours a day and just get in front of people and and if you can you know pass the hat it just you you get so much information it's so great to be able to do a show mm -hmm. talk about it for an hour and then go do another show right, and right. talk about that one and then go do another show do five shows a day and you'll you'll get it i mean it's, it's what have you learned from tv compared to on stage to on the streets oh my gosh let's talk about that so when you're yeah. on america's got talent i hear that it's, it's lightning fast yeah so it has to just, be any just, any thoughts about that yeah it's you just well videotape yourself and watch videotape video yourself there's no more tape yeah. involved in that yeah. do you remember vhs's <laughs> yeah yeah one time i watched uh let's see uh, i remember i videotaped uh, a juggler that I was watching a lot, a lot of different acts, right? Yeah. And it was all in Paris and uh, Paris tomorrow. Remember that back yeah. in the day? Oh, but yeah. You would watch it, and then you would like videotape it, and then okay, now I have that piece, and then you videotape right. another piece, and so you have a whole VHS of all these different acts. Right. One VHS. Uh -huh. One day, exactly. the tape broke. Yeah, My life like, was over. No. no. <laughs> now this day, he's got YouTube. So yeah, who cares I know. about yeah, that? It's all yeah, we had to work hard for our chuckle. I know. Put in the VHS. Said, just... Hey man, don't press anything. I'm exactly. so messed with that. Don't erase that. Yeah. Oh, wait, your VHS player sucks. Oh no, it's gonna eat my tape. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh. Yeah. yeah. And then you lend it to somebody. I yeah. need this back. No, I lent it yeah. that guy. Oh. Yeah. You know no. how many charging juggling balls I gave to people and said, "Hey, yeah. learn, learn how to juggle." And then now, like, I've never seen those balls ever yeah. again. I've never they're, seen those clubs good. again. You they know. Still have. Yeah. That's cool. I gave it. You know. Yeah. It's a donation. You're not giving. Give him back. Right. <laughs> You're watching this. I can use like 50 balls, man. Jeez. Exactly. So That's back. cool. Hopefully, hopefully you're still juggling. Right. Hopefully there juggling. you go. If you use it, I'll keep using it. Yeah. If you're not, you let's go out. back to TV. What's it like performing on TV? Any advice for someone? Yeah, you just, it's, we call it, John and I call it TV time because it's just, you, it has to be rapid fire. Okay. Just, you can't wait. You, you tell the joke and you can't wait for the response. You got it. Just keep it moving. And you'll watch. We watch our first Tonight Show set, which is like eight minutes long, and it's so it's so slow. But we didn't know, we didn't know that you have to just speed things. What's the number? A minute and thirty seconds, two minutes. What do you feel like is a solid number to get the jokes, to get the the routine, get this the well, trick? They give you ninety and then seconds. They, ninety seconds on America's Got Talent. You get ninety seconds, and you just go, "Are you kidding?" Do you feel me? like you have enough time? No, no of course Never. not. Duh. Never. Never. <laughs> Just, How are you going to show everything yeah. about you in 90 seconds? Yeah, especially you, if you're a juggler. Well, are you kidding me? Especially if you're trying to do comedy. Yeah. Set up something. Right? You, you get yeah. like three jokes and you're... Yeah, it's just like... Uh, so how was that re like rehearsing for this? Were you like, okay, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. You, you just, went back to the, the drawing trim. board. You went back to the couches and you're like, what are we doing? Are you're we shaving Tearing seconds. up these couches or are we talking about comedy? How are we going to do this? Yeah, you're just shaving seconds. You're running the stopwatch and you go, okay, do we need that joke? I don't think we do. Yeah. Where, where are just let me ask you this: How many good jokes that you had to get rid of, like crushers? Oh. That you were just like, you know what? Yeah. We can't a bunch. Use, we're gonna use this one on TV. Yeah, are yeah, you kidding me? Yeah. Fine. That's all we got. Yeah. You just and you just and you time to go. Okay, we'll just do it as we think it's gonna run. And you look at the stop. Wait, three and a half minutes. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta lose. But that was some good three and a half minutes. Oh you know? my gosh! How are we gonna? Yeah. Are man. they gonna get it? You know? Yeah. 
That's so. So in a way, you just have to go for the big crazy tricks. Yeah, big crazy tricks or one big crazy trick and get your jokes in and you okay, know, cool. it's it's just tough. Yeah. Awesome, I like that. Uh, when you're creating your act, uh, when you guys are going for an idea that's new. How do you approach that? How do you approach like a, a comedy bit like, hey, I have this great idea, da 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 da. It's different between talking about the idea and right. performing the idea. Right. What do you do in your show? Do you take maybe uh, a practice run for a while or you just try to put it in your act as soon as possible? <laughs> we, Which is probably the worst idea, but sometimes we always do that. put it in too soon. That's the thing we laugh about. It's just like, this is not ready. What were we thinking? And then there's but, like a code word. If it doesn't hit and you know it's like there's a, well, a cricket, you're like, yeah, hey, uh, so hey. Uh, let's go back to that uh, drop no, in you, with the polka dots. You, you put a really good thing right before it and a really good thing right after it and you no, try like to sandwich. slice sandwich it. It's in a crappy sandwich. And if it, yeah, if it's, crappy joke sandwich. <laughs> Crabby Joe comedy sandwich. Yeah, <laughs> you go. Well, it was good before, and and you try to yeah. you try to do that. Slide what, it in there. What is your observement when you're on stage? Because you have some really good belly laughs. When you know the crowd just it just hits. Yeah. How does that feel? Oh, it's just the best. I mean, yeah. you write a new joke, or you write a joke that's specific to that audience. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're backstage, you're listening to the person ahead of you, or the the speaker ahead of you, and you go, oh, let's. Let's I bet do we that. Can do this little twist here. Let's do that. So you're backstage. You're listening to like, oh, the CEO of this one absolutely, company or yeah. Microsoft, and they're just saying this, 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 and the other guy's saying, "Oh my God, that'd be funny if we yeah. said this, this." And, and it's so great because it's so personal. It's, yeah, they go up on oh there. Oh my God! And they think you're a genius. You know, just for and yeah. it's a throwaway joke, or it'll never work again. Right. But they know it would never work again, and they know it's specific to them. That's perfect. So it doesn't need to be nearly as funny as it as a joke just because they'll just know that it's for them well let's go to this one you guys wear a suit and tie yep. you do a lot of corporate shows everybody in the audiences is pretty much employees of that company or so forth you know i've done some of these corporate shows and it's at 6 a.m or 7 a.m oh, yeah. like 4 a.m yeah. flying out i did like huntington bitch one time it was 6 a.m we, we had a cirque show so it was more cirque performers and right. they had like german wheels chiffon and contortion and i did my juggling right yeah, yeah. But i remember it was at huntington beach right there in the orange county area yeah. and it was the it was the hilton area yeah. right in that area and it's very beautiful very nice we got in there early and uh yeah i had to wake up like like before the sun gets up, oh, sure. you know, all right guys, time to do your show. What, Re yeah, right now, stretch. We went backstage, the CEO is there talking for the for the crowd. They're pretty much waking up, right. you know, they're just yeah. like, oh gosh, okay, another yeah. lecture. And then eventually, boom, we have Here a we special go. act for you. We right. have these entertainment. Yeah, it's great. We're gonna see some circ performers. At that time, it was like, Wow, we had to entertain them. I mean, my show was, my act was about, you know, four to five minutes. Yeah. But it was like, wow, it felt like it was like 45 minutes because you're, you're jet lagged, you're there, you're going, you're doing your show. Yeah. What's that like early in the morning, oh, performing man. for everyone, and then at the same time, they see you with their suit and tie, right. and then they go, hey, this guy's just like us. And then, yeah. boom, you guys are juggling, you guys are yeah. doing comedy. You totally flip their mind yeah. of what they see as jugglers. It's such a fun thing to do every time. To okay. Just, you know. Is that we, like your mindset too? Is that oh, yeah. like passing zone? That's kind of what you wanted to portray yeah. and have that voice to the audience? Well, I it's think, like clean cut, yeah. you know, suit and tie. Look, we're just like you guys, but happen to have some pretty awesome skills and, and we, we have some comedy. We purposefully don't have them introduce us and we have never mentioned the word juggling. So they don't know who we are. Great. We say, you know, these guys, you've seen them on the Tonight Show, the Today Show, they've done this, that, and other thing. Please welcome the passing zone. They don't know who we are. We come out, we're in our suit and ties. I just think, okay, there might be consultants. They might, we don't, yeah, and we tell them we're gonna do some entertainment. How many times have you gone out and people think, where are their construction helmets? Where are they, where's the sign for getting and yeah. painting a line right. in the passing zone area? Yeah, they, are, they, are they construction well, workers? They just don't know. And then they sit there and then we reveal to them that we're jugglers. And you can see them going, oh, great. We're gonna sit through some juggling and mm. And then, and we love, you know, and we love that. And you take that as a challenge. Yeah, I yeah. mean, well, that's the proper response, actually. Yep. <laughs> that's that's how everyone feels about jugglers. And then, and then we change their mind through the next right. 30, 45, 60 minutes, whatever. We just blow the roof out of the place. Absolutely, your yeah. act is so strong and so awesome that it's like, okay, that's if you want to be a duo act. You know, when people come to me and they say, hey, you know, a great duo act. I say, yep, these guys passing zone. People have copied what you've done yes and how does that you know obviously how does that make you feel but what do you feel about that well you know i think they just don't know that that's not something they should be doing so i think it's in, in the most for the most part i think they're they're just new coming up and didn't realize you know, if you see something that's that, oh that works we should do that 
what I was told is there's a cardinal rule. In magicians, the cardinal rule is never tell the secret. You know, yeah. if you know it, don't say anything. Yeah. And in comedy, never steal other people's jokes. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And then I think there's enough jugglers who know that that's our yeah. bit. And that's awesome. And the yeah. stuff you say is like, wow, that's so great. And then it also ties into what you do, and it's creative and it's detailed, and the jokes are coming from what you're doing. Yeah. And that's that to me. That's that's an art form. I am proud of how what we've taken juggling where we've taken juggling and our comedy and I think it's it's I think it is both I think we're, we're very yeah. strong in comedy and, and how many people so, idolize from you guys of like that's how you do it Passing well jump. that's that's nice to hear but I'd be surprised <laughs> it's all over the world man well that's 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 very flattering I I am um, do you feel that way from time to time you know, I yeah. mean, look, you guys come to these conventions all the time, and you know, you wear your suits and ties, and everyone's just like, "Wow, it's passing zone." You're Mark. You made a lot of yeah. big stuff over I mean, the years. I don't know. It's about awesome. That. Yes, you did. Well, to <laughs> me, you did because, well, maybe I'm just like crazy about performing entertainment, yeah. so I know of a lot of your work. But to me, it's awesome. It's awesome to know that wow. what you do has been inspiring to a lot of upcoming jugglers, upcoming performers, of how, hey, you know, this is a way you can make great shows and great work yeah. with comedy, with juggling. With well, a partner. The, the juggling community has been such so supportive to us from the beginning. And and it's just it's it's great to feel a part of this community and and, and try to give back whenever you know, we'll do workshops and try to help people coming up too. I That's mean, awesome. It's, it's a great uh, activity, it's a great way to make a living. It's we love it and gonna keep keep going at it. Has there been any wild stories of you guys on stage? Can you share one? of something like maybe, you know, you forgot your costume or something came on or there was a fire or anything? Yeah, we've, gosh, we've... You can name one. What's some well, crazy experience uh, that you and John had while being on stage? We, uh, we used to do the ask forgiveness rather than permission when it comes to performing fire. Great idea. Right, sure. And this, uh, so we were at the uh, LA Hilton and, and downtown and uh, uh, lit up our torches you know, we've never set off an alarm before. For whatever reason, these alarms were really sensitive. Are we Evacuate talking about the hotel? Oh yeah, the sprinklers, everything. No, no, not the sprinklers, just the the actual alarm. And uh, so it immediately calls the fire department, and the fire department's on their way. Oh my gosh! And so we're like, oh crap, this is serious. Do people think it was the act? Oh, they knew it was the act. <laughs> No, oh no, they, oh yeah. This is great, they, no, they, just they, keep going, no, keep going. Yeah, we're like, okay, so they get there within minutes, fully, you know, oxygen tanks. And they're like, are those up, firefighters gonna juggle those running, axes? Yeah, and so here, and we're like, we are so sorry, and now they're here, and we're like, okay, do we keep going? They turn the alarm off, and they, the client's like, well, yeah, keep going. And we're, <laughs> <laughs> so we go, well, chainsaws are next. Oh no, Yeah. We're oh, like, that's great. So, great, we got the firefighters yeah, here, this is perfect. Yeah, we're all yeah, set, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. We did the show with the fire department in the background, and yeah. Dude, was that's good. awesome. So it was pretty fun. That's, yeah. that, now that's comedy. Now let's talk about that. When things happen that you don't expect, how many times on stage things happen that there's a joke? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's that's 80% of our show, it seems like. So most of your jokes, even the polka dots and so forth, have come from accidents? You know, not the polka dots I mean, you guys thought about, okay, yeah, let's do this, we drop. Set up. But there's plenty mm -hmm. of things in our show, things that happen, and you play off of it and you realize oh that's a gosh, keeper that's, that's a keeper. gold yep. that's the way that i mean it's so organic feeling and then because it happened once then you go let's do that next time or how can we switch it to tweak it a little bit more but yeah, yeah i think that's why our show kind of feels if you watch it a number of times you'll realize that it's, it's you know we've got like eight intentional drops in our show right right and the drops are in the same places every time and and the way we it provides some conflict and some res resolution. And okay, let's talk about that. Any yeah. advice you give someone for comedy about doing scripts and writing material or just coming up with comedy? How should they think in a creative matter? Yeah, I think... I think That you've learned over the years. I think it's important to, to watch other comedians and see how a joke is stylized. Any of your favorites? And, um, it's funny because I... You know, I'm a huge um, Steve Martin fan. Awesome, and, cool. And... Uh, uh, Louis C.K. Did you see the new stuff know. with Martin Short? They have no, a new thing touring? I know. Really good. I've really good. That. When you get a chance, it. Netflix. Is Netflix. it good? It's great. All right. Okay, so going. Uh, but, uh, you know, funny. I like smart writing and clever. It's self-deprecating 
okay. humor. Okay. Yeah, it's fun. And is this coming from inside you? Yeah. When you're in the audience sitting in the seat and you're watching a comedian or somebody up on stage, this is where you're like, wow, you know, I would laugh at these things. Yeah. This is how you watch shows, so. right? Yeah. So you're thinking what, what I would be if I was in the audience. And if you think that way, then you think, oh, it's better. That's the best way to come from jokes for myself. Yeah. It's real. It's not like fake. Yeah. You know, you see a lot of comics me. that come on stage and they, they, they look too scripted. Yeah. They look too wearing a mask. And it seems like they have to change their voice and look like this. And I'm like, well, you're not talking to old people and you're not talking to kids. We're adults. And yeah. so you don't need to act well, yeah, like we're just some, you know, person in the audience. Yeah. And I can see you're just trying to play a role. And, the, and yeah. tell me about that. Well, I, I think a it's huge, important to be real, right? Well, it's important to be real. And it, I think it's also important to listen. Listen to your audience. Know who, where these people just came from, or where they're going, or if you're in a comedy club, you know what is what's the make. Every audience is different, and that's a great thing. But just, just yeah. listen. Yeah. Listen to them and find out, or put yourself in there. What are they? What are they seeing? Almost, it's almost like this out of body experience. Right. Thing. Sometimes I feel like I'm watching our show, and even though the lines are the same I might deliver them slightly different based right. that the audience the vibe of the audience so yeah it's it's I think it's so much about just being present and and just and not just phoning it in and not just reading lines yeah. and don't look like some guy who's just blocking the material yeah it's like man if you want to go at home and stand in front of the mirror and do the lines or videotape yourself then do it yeah. but you know what we just paid money to be here yeah. we're sitting in the seats don't show us your rehearsal. Show yeah. us your show. Be a performer. Yeah. And I've seen some acts, I'm not saying much, but sometimes it gets to me where I see a comic or I see even a comedy jugglers or something like that, and you see guys, they're just scripting. They just it's like it's like every material is like, oh I heard that joke, I heard that joke. Right. And at the same time I also feel like they're just trying to, you know, they're trying to hit the funny bones, right. but they're really not. And yeah. when they don't hit it, they'll just keep going yeah. and they'll say, you know, you'll know that joke didn't hit, and then they'll hit it again, and they'll hit it again, so they're not listening to the audience, right. and then they're just thinking, okay, well, this is my show where I'm just going. It's like, no, your show sucks, dude. <laughs> like, just get off stage, yeah. or find something else to, yeah. to change it, because if the audience is not getting belly laughs or cracking up within the first couple seconds, you're missing the point. Right. You need to not just go with, like, press play, oh, this always works. No, it works for those crowds. Mm -hmm. but. Maybe those crowds are not, I'm not saying it, not intelligent enough to get some of those jokes. Right. And you need to kind of, like you said, play every different venue the way you did that CEO that was on there and made that joke, or the way you played this one bar, or the way you played this one comedy club, or the way you played this one cruise ship, or the way you played this one corporate show. Yeah. I mean, right? Is that yeah. how, I mean, even just comedians and, and any, anywhere you yeah. go, it's like this, yeah. right? Do you feel like there should be a, a multiple, like a real conversation with you in the audience? Do you think that's the way to do it? Well, and now with, the advent of these headset microphones. You can just say a joke. By the way, let's go techno. What do you use for your headset mic? Oh, e man? E6, yeah. E6, and then you use a Sennheiser? Uh, sure. Sure. A Shure? Yeah. You use a Shure? Sure. So he said, Sennheiser, Shure. Well, Shure is audio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a nice one. Wow. No, it's good. And oh, we, that's very uh, good. But now, now you can deliver a joke under your breath. You can just, you don't have to just, you know, these mics are so good, and, you know, we, because we're jugglers, we don't have handhelds or anything. Man, you guys mastered it. So you, you just... That's awesome. You know, we can we can have this relation, and, and you can lower your voice. Yeah. And the audience can, like, you can control the audience. You don't have to, like, yell over them. Yeah. You can kind of take it down. So you feel like some people are forcing each other. Yeah. They're and forcing go, it out. And, and, you know, I'm just going to say it at this level. And if you miss it, you, you know, they're going to get it. Yeah. People who are listening are going to get it. And they're like, wait, I just missed yeah. it. But it's... And then... Okay, let's let's listen. And and John and I are just notorious. All we do it on we talk over each other constantly. You know, he's saying a joke, and I'm and we're just and then we'll hit lines together. And I think that's keeping the audience like, wait, yeah, what? Oh, fun. he was saying, yeah. It, yeah. it just it's forcing them to really like great who are you, yeah, who are you paying attention to? And oh, this guy. And with a duo, you can do things like that. Yeah. And the other thing that's great is. John can say something that's completely inappropriate. And I can go, John, no, that's not, you can't, that's not the thing. You can't say that. And he goes, oh, sorry. You, so know. you became good guy, he became bad guy. Well, yeah, and that's just, fun a, too, just in a moment. Right? And we're not like two stupid guys or two smart guys, no. but you know. We I can, think you've established a really good rapport with the audience right when you got on stage. 
You know, yeah. like when you guys walk on, you guys are professionals, and you can I, see that. All right, I'm ready for a good show. Well, and I think that comes, it's a difference. Yeah, I'm just trying to like be the. All right. No, I, I, I'm never you know? like, hey, look at me. I'm just like, hey, we're here together. We're here right yeah, now. Let's do this. Just, we're gonna have fun. Enjoy together. the ride. Relax. Awesome. You're in good hands. We're gonna take care of you. We're gonna respect you, and uh, you know. We're gonna have a great time. Was this a mentality you always had when you were younger too? Like when you guys were doing shows when you first started? I think just keep so. Keep that comfort zone and keep a sense well, of I think it's just, yeah. connection where it's just right there. We're here. We're not trying to like force it. We're not trying to be yeah. dancing monkey. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I just don't. Yeah. I've never felt like I knew anything more than mm -hmm. the audience or I had something special. But I, mm -hmm. yeah, I just felt like just let's let's all join this journey together. Let's. Do you guys chill. have any crazy rituals that you guys do before shows? You know, we really don't. We. Or do you think about something like take well, a breath and then go on stage? No. Come on, man. What's fun? Well, here's the deal. We people ask, do you still get nervous? We get nervous before every show. Yeah. Absolutely. Where we? Because I think we just want it to go well. Cool. And well, that's uh, normal. There's an old saying: if you're not nervous, you're dead. Yeah. No. Right? I, yeah. Exactly. So, Some people are sleepwalkers. They get all we, crazy. We you know? just care. Yeah. So I think when I'm not nervous, I'm like, ooh. Yeah. yeah. What's what's happening? It's fun to be nervous. Sometimes it's, you go on stage you're like, whoa, this is gonna be fun. I don't know. I don't know fun. what to expect. I don't like it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like. Well, to be not nervous. before you juggle a chainsaw. No, I mean, that's not good. And it, it goes away as soon as you take the stage and you get that first laugh yeah. and stuff. But I, I think it's important that I get nervous. Yeah. I don't like it. You guys got a secret handshake? No. Uh, let's do a handshake. Oh, what do you got? Boom, boom. Oh. Let's like slap okay, left. So slap, oh, slap. Boom. Boom, explode. Oh. Let's just do that. That's okay. our thing. So when I see John, okay. we're going to do it in front of him. All right. He's like, and then oh, why is they have a secret handshake? Have? And I don't. What 30 the 30 years, no secret handshake. Like, yep. What's that? That's true. Right. You should always do something, right? Like basketball players do we, it, right? <laughs> you have something going we on. We should do that. We do right? have a Look secret. Look at all those NFL players. just like, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Okay. That's a thing. We do have. So that's our thing, okay? We do have one thing. <laughs> when we know it's got to be a really shitty show. <laughs> Here it is. Open your mouth. Oh, wait, 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 okay. wait. Yep. There's a lot of trust going on here. You All right. Gotta open your mouth and you gotta point your finger into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> don't you dare shoot second. Dude, that's awesome. You just go, oh my God. Yeah. We're about this, to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you shoot just myself in the shoot. face right now? Yeah, shoot like, each literally, other. Literally, this is, yeah. yeah this, this is 30 years. Wow, we've done 30 years and this is what it's come to. Yeah. <laughs> Last but not least, what yeah. is performing giving back to you? You know, uh, it has given me an amazing life. A one full of incredible people. Um, awesome. So satisfying to do what I, get to get to do what I love doing. And, uh, you know, and I've provided for my family. I've got two daughters in college yeah, right now. That's awesome. They're killing it. How satisfying is that? Do they juggle a bit? Nope. Yeah? You cool with that? Absolutely. That's awesome. <laughs> That's great. What do they think about dad juggling and dad, stuff? They love it? They love dad. Yeah. yeah. Of course. You're a great guy. Well, they're great gals. That's awesome, man. Yeah. It's but they are. I mean, it's like, that's so great. You, know, you travel the world, you've done everything, yeah. you have a family, you yeah. have a great career. Yeah. Uh, life could, has been good. You get paid to play. Right. You can't beat that. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, thanks, Owen, brother. you rock. Hey, you Owen can. Morris, check him out, passing gun. Thanks See for watching. Kids. See you guys next time. All right, here we go. Let's do the close up, like shooting the gun in the mouth. Okay. I just take a smile. Do you hold your breath when you smile too? I, I think always I hold do. my breath. I always hold I my do. breath when I smile. That's yeah. weird. It's a weird thing. Sometimes, yeah. but I can hold it really long because so. when I take pictures of other people, I'm like, yeah, you just. But I don't like to breathe on their face. <laughs> exactly. I don't. Either.